I think one of the things that needs to happen over the next 10 years to really put New Orleans um, on a path to being, you know, one of the best cities in the South in terms of quality of life. Uh, we need to have someone or some group has to take a hard look at the issues that really are holding us down. And I talked about those earlier and put a strong plan in place, a comprehensive plan that involves everybody to address those issues. Now, you know, some of these issues, when you start talking about poverty and race and public education, it doesn't necessarily feel good talking about that sometimes because, look, everybody's got different perspectives from different backgrounds. But we have to have an honest conversation about what does every section, each major section of the city, whether it's age, whether it's race, whether it's socioeconomic class or background, what would you all like to see happen in the city of New Orleans? And really talk about that. But we have to, we, we, we have to make New Orleans a place to not just visit, but really want to live here. And right now, we're not there. Again, our public edu education system is better than it was you know, 20 years ago, but it's not where it needs to be. We still have high poverty. We still have high crime. Um, people now are getting priced out of living in some of the areas that were a, a lot more affordable uh, you know, before the storm. That's an issue. I mean, all of those issues are happening, but there has to be a concerted effort um, and it has to be led by someone or some organization to address that. And again, we can't rely on elected officials to do that. Just like community members stepped up after the storm because they had to, to actually talk about leading us in the right direction and rebuilding, those same types of individuals have to step up to talk about what do we do for the next 10 years. Uh, and I think that has to happen sooner rather than later. Uh, because we still do have national attention. We still have everybody looking, saying, all right, let's see how New Orleans does, specifically in education. I mean, we are the national, for lack of a better term, experiment. There's a lot of people around the country, specifically in education, uh, education advocacy and education reform or restructuring, that are looking at New Orleans and saying, let's see if this is going to work, what they're trying to do, an urban school district with... Uh, 95% African-American students, uh, not the richest city in the world. Let's see if they're going to get it right on education. And they're waiting to see. And a lot of them are starting to kind of mimic what's been done here to address that. And I think there's other places uh, that people are looking as well. I think, you know, addressing the housing issue is probably something that we could take the lead on as well here, because I'm sure there's other urban areas around the country that face the same, the same issues we do. So we can be a leader in fixing things. We don't necessarily have to be last than this, last than this. We could actually be first in fixing things and set that example.